Hello everyone, I am Keshin Shreddy, working as assistant professor in Tiga Krishna at Engineering College. Welcome to my channel. My channel name is Axalative Research. In this video, I will explain about electrical and hybrid vehicle subject. Okay, if you want to watch my previous videos, kindly click here. Electrical and hybrid. Go to playlist. Okay, we will go to playlist. Okay, click here. Electrical and hybrid vehicles, view playlist. Okay, these are all of my previous uh, uh, videos related to electrical and hybrid vehicle subject. Okay, these are total 30. Now, this video I will explain. Uh, this is JNTUH RIT syllabus, electrical and hybrid vehicle subject. Today, I will discuss about Unit 2 Introduction to Hybrid Vehicles, History of Hybrid Vehicles and electrical vehicles. Today, I will discuss this topic only. Social and environmental impact of hybrid and electrical vehicles, import, uh, impact of modern drive trains on energy supplies. These two topics I will discuss today. Social and environmental importance of hybrid and electrical vehicles. Next, impact of modern drive trains on energy supplies. Okay, now I will start my presentation. First slide, internal combustion engine. This is a slide related to internal combustion engine. Internal combustion engine vehicles means uh, petrol and P petrol vehicles and diesel vehicles. The development of internal combustion engine vehicles, especially automobiles, is one of the greatest achievement of modern technology. Okay, the development of internal combustion engine means internal combustion engine means petrol vehicles and fuel uh, petrol vehicles and diesel vehicles. This is this development in particular in automobile industry so is one of the greatest achievement okay in modern technology. Next automobiles okay this is related to automobile automobiles have made great contribution to the growth of modern society by satisfying many of its needs for mobility in every every day. Okay, this automobile industry GDP GDP means income. Every country income also increasing. Okay, the growth of modern society means the country's income also due to this automobiles also growth increasing GDP rate. Okay, this is this is development of vehicles. This is the this is the income related. That's right, automobiles. Next, this is the transportation development. Transportation development. This here uh, total four images. This is the. 1700s okay this vehicle this is a stream vehicle in 18000s like vehicles this is the electricity 1900 okay 1900 like this this today the transportation development in okay aeroplanes and this navy and other transportation two wheeler four wheeler and heavy wheeler vehicles all okay this is the today's development this remains our previous uh, previous uh, past 30, 300 years, okay, 1700, 1800, 1900 years transportation development. The, in recent decades, the research and development activities related to transportation have emphasized the development of high efficiency. Okay, this, this point related to this today's this transportation, the total transportation development is increasing every every year. Okay, now uh, transportation means uh, public transportation at the same time in defense sector also. Okay, developed developing all countries own worldwide developing. Okay, in defense sector also that this slide total related to transport transportation development. Next, this is the pollution. Okay, this is related to pollution, internal combustion engine vehicles and some yeah, industry related pollution. Okay, however, a large number of automobiles in use around the world has caused and continues cause of serious problems for the environment at the same time human life. Okay, due to these automobiles, okay, the pollution is very high. 
due to all fuel, petrol and diesel vehicles, pollution, releasing uh, every day. The problems are environmental problem and human problem. Okay. The air pollution, global warming and the, the rapid uh, deflection of the Earth's petroleum reservoirs are now problems of uh, paramount concerns. Okay. The day-to-day, -day, the automobile industry developing at the same time, we have some problems. So problems are environmental and human life for reducing this uh, pollution or uh, recent days electrical and hybrid vehicles implemented. Okay. Next. This slide is the electric vehicles, hybrid vehicles and fuel cell vehicles. Okay. Electric vehicles, hybrid vehicles and fuel cell vehicles have been typically proposed to replace the conventional vehicles in near future. Okay. These vehicles are the conventional vehicles. Conventional vehicles means uh, petrol and diesel vehicles. In future, the modern world, electrical vehicles and hybrid vehicles and fuel cell vehicles will replace the conventional vehicles. The advantage of this uh, fuel cell vehicles, this uh, electric vehicles, will, will reduce pollution. Okay. Next, this is the carbon dioxide emission distribution form. This is this. Uh, Slide 1980 to 1999, 32% transportation, okay, carbon dioxide em uh, emission, 32% due to transportation, this 19% due to residential, this 15% due to commercial, remaining this percentage is due to uh, due to industrial, okay, this total four parts transportation, residential, and commercial and industrial carbon dioxide emission distribution in this 18 uh, 1980s to 1999 total this 19 years next this is the evolution of carbon dioxide okay co2 emission in million metric tons here 200 400 600 up to 2000 0 to 2000 tons okay co2 emission in million metric tons here years 1975 to 2000 okay this is this line. This line means yearly 1800 to 1400. This graph, this 1980s to 2000, evolution of carbon dioxide due to industries, this thick line due to industries, the carbon dioxide em emission, industrial. This is the transportation. These data lines are the related to transportation. Uh, yearly 1400 metric tons to Nearly 1800 metric tons, 1400 to 1800 metric tons, CO2 emission in million metric tons this year. Next, this is the residential. Okay, this is the residential uh, CO2 emission 1980 to 2000. This is the residential. This fourth one is the commercial. These four are industrial, transportation, residential, and commercial. Okay, this, this slide here showing percentage here showing. Calculation CO2 emission in metric tons. This two, it's two slides related to carbon dioxide emission, pollution related slides. Okay, carbon dioxide emission distribution form and evolution of carbon dioxide emission. Next, these two slides are related to fuel consumption for region. This is the fuel consumption worldwide. Okay, this is the worldwide fuel, fuel consumption. This is the fuel oil consumption in region wide. Oil consumption in thousands uh, barriers per day, okay, 5,000, 10,000 yearly, 25,000, 0 to 25,000, year 1980 to 1998, okay, this is the North America, North America using per day year 20,000, okay, year West European nearly 12,000 to 15,000, year next year 1980 to 1988, year increasing every day 10,000 to year 20,000. Asian Pacific, next year, Eastern European countries, okay, here decreasing the consumption of fuel, okay, here decreasing on uh, 1992, 1998, decreasing, next year increasing South and Central America and Middle East and Africa, these countries uh, below 5,000, okay, per day, below 5,000 uh, barriers per day. Next year, worldwide oil consumption here 1980s to 1998. Here total 80,000. Okay, total 80,000. Here increasing every 
every two years, okay, the consumption of fuel, right? Uh, worldwide is 60,000 to 80,000. This will graph only up to 1998 only. This is the oil consumption worldwide and regional wise. Next. This is the important importance of different transportation development strategies to future oil supplies. Here are total three lines. This is the this x axis is the years 1972 to uh, 2050. This is the future oil supplies. This is the remaining reservoirs one total reservoirs and cumulative consumption from 1970. Okay, here gigabytes. This is the cumulative oil consumption. Every 10 years here increasing this graph 1970 to 2050, 1970, 80, 90. Here every 10 years this graph will increasing. Here the remaining reservoirs, remaining reservoirs will decreasing 1970 to 2040. Every 10 years here slightly decreasing. Okay. The uh, the year of oil supply end will in the year of 2040, the oil will end supply. Okay, here this is the remaining reservoirs plus cumulative uh, consumption total they are increasing at 1000 to uh, 2000 discovered reservoirs okay here total three one is the remaining remaining reservoirs one is the present cumulative consumption everyday consumption this is the total okay worldwide oil, oil discovery and the remaining reservoirs and cumulative oil consumption next slide this is the worldwide oil consumption Industrialized weights, developing country. Okay, this is the industrialized industries, million uh, barriers per day. Okay, here 0 to 50. This this one is the transportation. This one is the other sector. Industrialized means this is the transportation. This is the other sector. Here, developing countries, 1992-2020. Okay, the oil consumption. Uh, every year 1992 1997 every uh, seven years and five years graph like this okay this to comparison for the industrial and developing countries next this is the comparison of annual fuel consumption between different development strategies of the next two generation vehicles okay this graph i will explain here 0 to 50 60 years okay 10 20 30 50 60 years this is the general generalized annual oil consumption here 0 0.8 to 2.2. First, I will explain these five points. First one is the ABC represents the annual fuel consumption trend of current vehicles. This one ABC, okay, this graph related to ABC, annual fuel, con fuel consumption of current vehicles. Current vehicles means con uh, this internal combustion vehicles, okay, increasing every day. This oil consumption will increasing every 10 years, okay. Six, uh, after six years, the graph will increasing like this. Next, this curve A D E here A D and E represents the development strategy which conventional vehicles gradually become hybrid vehicles during the first 20 years. First 20 years means here this 0 to this D up to this 20 years, the con uh, the hybrid vehicles growth in increasing. After 20 years, 22, the remaining this 60 years, total have hybrid vehicles, uh, hybrid vehicles. The first 20 years and after 20 years all vehicles will be hybrid vehicles here 20 to 60 this is the hybrid vehicles the oil consumption graph like this next karu a b and f g a b and f g a b and f g represents the strategy in the first 20 years fuel vehicles okay this first a b is the fuel vehicles fuel vehicles in the developing state while uh, a b and f g represents the a b represents with first 20 years fuel vehicles okay a b this up to 20 years fuel vehicles after 20 years the developing by current conventional vehicles still are in market okay a b this is the fuel vehicles after that conventional vehicles will still continue okay after 20 to 40 years the graph like this next the curve a d f g here a d and f g Represents a strategy which vehicles become hybrid first 20 years. Okay, first 20 years AD hybrid vehicles. After 20 years, the first 20 years, 
and fuel vehicles through in the second 20 years. Okay, here D to F, remaining 20 years are the fuel cell vehicles. Okay, this total is comparison of different vehicles, different vehicles, uh, comparison, fuel consumption, okay, conventional vehicles and fuel cell vehicles and hybrid vehicles like this, okay. Which vehicles will consume oil? Total comparison related to this slide. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.